What's up guys? I'm about to bring you a matchup analysis on the Pikachu vs. Sheik matchup. A matchup that many people really believe is close to even. I'm on the fence. I believe it's 55-45 in Sheik's favor. Sometimes I feel like it might be 6-4, especially with the meta uh, developing more in Sheik's favor. But without further ado, um, this is one of the characters I'd say that are a lot better versus Sheik. Um, you see me and Esam opt to go Pikachu a lot when we fight Sheik, mainly myself because uh, Nesh just doesn't cut it versus uh, Sheik at top level, and Fox, I'd say, is he does alright, but I feel like I'm more comfortable with Pikachu, but without further ado, off the bat, you can see that at that moment, the Sheik whiffed a dash attack. So if Sheik whiffs a dash attack, she's either going to cross up your shield, or she's going to mainly just, you know hit you with the tip of the dash attack and you could punish her with a grab, you could punish her with an up tilt. I'd say a lower percent is probably best to start your up tilt chain um, in any instance because it allows you to pop her in the air and continue with uh, aerial combos that not only give you stage control but they give you the maximum amount of damage that you could possibly get off of a combo at that percent. But don't be afraid to grab because grab of course does lead to combos as well and Sheik is a fast falling character so she's more susceptible to falling victim to these combos. In this instance I had Sheik trapped at the ledge so when Sheik is at the ledge as Pikachu I mainly like to do a short hop auto cancel dare so that I can catch them if they jump from the ledge or if they decide to roll back on a regular get up because you can you know change the momentum of that move and the move lasts very long so it covers a plethora of options but when Sheik is off stage you definitely want to be off stage with her don't give her any room to get back for free just as much as she wouldn't allow you to do that and Pikachu being a character that's not easy to edge guard you won't really see too many Sheiks trying to go off stage and kill Pikachu for recovering so I get the grab He's at kill percent and I beta air dodge. So in that instance, I didn't immediately do the up throw, run, double jump, up B. I mean, down B. I didn't do that. Instead, I delayed it a little bit because I knew, hmm, he's going to probably air dodge. And I'm already a bit late. So let me see if I can catch him through his air dodge and kill him off the top. And as you saw, he almost died, but he's going to live in this instance. Quick attack pops him up. I have stage control, but he's able to land. And that dash attack is going to take it. So in a, any situation where you feel like you want to get the kill on P uh, Sheik, but you feel like, oh man, what if I'm not there in time? Don't forget that Pikachu's dash attack is a great kill option, and it's very underused for whatever reason. You don't always have to rely on up smash, and many times your opponent's not looking for the dash attack. And right there you see those up tilt combos into your aerials, got a good amount of percent on them, anti-aired him with back air. Now in the neutral, Pikachu is going to find a very hard time dealing with uh, forward tilt. Forward tilt and nair actually. And the reason why those moves are a problem are because Sheik's, <laughs> Sheik's nair breaks through Pikachu's upbeat. If you didn't know that. So if you're fighting a Sheik that likes to nair a lot, you're going to really have to pick and choose when you throw out your quick attack. Forward tilt is a threat to Pikachu because Pikachu is a character that has to get up close to really lay damage on you. And so forward tilt being very quick and safe, it's kind of like a get out of jail free option for Sheik, especially if Sheik happens to land the forward tilt on Pikachu. It puts Pikachu in a really dangerous spot where the follow up to up air could potentially kill him and it almost feels as if it's guaranteed. So as a Pikachu player, you have to be really careful in the up close battle. And if you feel like the Sheik is forward tilt happy, when you know you're close to the Sheik, I think it's safe to just shield it and try to punish him with a down tilt or a forward tilt to relieve yourself from that pressure or just roll away because if you get hit by forward tilt it's just going to put you in a world of hurt and in a lot of trouble. So I get that LB, he's able to dodge through it. In this situation where you get to, well you get the grab, um, don't always rely on your up throw to down B because if they continue to just DI it, you can mix them up by doing a down throw to down B. Sometimes I've down thrown opponents and they go straight up enough for me to just down B and kill them because they're not ready for the different amount of DI that they need to do on that particular uh, throw. So you can definitely mix that up. And if you were paying attention, another little tip in the neutral versus Sheik, if you are shielding the Sheik's forward, uh, forward air, they're going to tend to try to run in and grab you after. 
because they say, oh man, my forwarder is not working, my forwarder is not working. So let me just try to run in and grab after to see if I can catch him while he's still shielding. In that instance, you read it and you could pivot forward smash them to punish them. Or if you read the forward air early, you don't even have to jump in short hop forward air like I was telling you to. You can literally just pivot F smash it and that's going to share the scare the Sheik off of doing their, you know, one of their strongest options. And that's something that you definitely want to keep in your arsenal in this matchup. Because Pikachu is a character that puts on a ton of pressure versus Sheik. And many Sheiks just don't know how to deal with it or they crack under the pressure of fighting Pikachu. Character that's not only small but very fast and has great kill power so sheiks often over respect pikachu in my opinion so on the neutral versus this sheik you see me using a lot of forward airs to f smashes now the reason why i'm using that is because most sheiks like to jump in forward air mainly in the neutral sheik is either going to jump forward air or sheik is going to try to run in and grab you so you're left with these this option to punish either of these scenarios so if sheik runs in and tries to grab you you can down tilt sheik away from you or you can go ahead and intercept the sheik with your own grab or a dash attack but if you read a sheik that's going to jump forward air try to read the jump before anything mainly in the neutral when i'm fighting sheik i read jumps or i look for jumps if i see a sheik likes to short hop a lot even in place i'm gonna expect the sheik to try to jump at me a lot with forward airs so before they even get to do the forward air i throw out my short hop forward air to intercept them and that can start forward air change which will give you stage control nice percent and the ability to put sheik in an edge guarding situation now in the neutral i do hear a lot of people always asking constantly you know what if sheik is camping me what if the sheik is just needle camping me well that's where pikachu's quick attack comes in guys and you'll see in the matchup a quick attack plays a huge role in not only getting in on sheik but punishing sheik when she's dashing towards you or when she's charging or shooting needles it then scares the sheik player to not use that as much and that forces the approach and if you can outplay the sheik in the neutral you come out on top why is down tilt a great move against sheik well down tilt is not only fast but it has the ability to not only knock your opponent away but it can trip your opponent now in these two instances this is where down tilt is very very effective not only against sheik generally just against anybody if your opponent's at kill percent and you down tilt them it puts them in a situation where they're knocked away from you but not far away enough that you can't run at them and charge a up smash to kill them by either reading a tech in place a regular get up in place if they're on the floor or if you read them rolling forward or backward you can chase those and up smash those as well so that puts them in a kill situation where if you read correctly they're dead but if it trips them, like it trips the Sheik in this instance, you're able to not only land a grab, but you can essentially just go ahead and throw out a quick attack or any other move to try to follow up and punish the Sheik even further, making down tilt very useful in the neutral against Sheik because Sheik isn't a character that wants to take too much damage due to being light. So if you down tilt her, it allows you to start those combos that you may need or get that solid kill option that's very hard to find on Sheik, a character that doesn't have a lot of lag. So the last thing I want to talk about is Pikachu's edge garden. In this scenario, I back throw Sheik off the stage and I end up falling off the ledge with a back air to punish Sheik. But Sheik wasn't at high enough percent for it to really do much. But the thing about the offstage game versus Sheik is Pikachu is it's very situational already because Sheik's recovery is very hard to tamper with. If she bouncing fishes, you have to make sure that you either air dodge through it or you space yourself just at the end of it so you don't get hit and you could possibly punish Sheik with a forward air or a nair. And another thing is, if a Sheik is up being directly under the ledge, what you want to do is you want to wait for the vanish hitbox of the upbeat to go off and then run off stage with a back air to maybe catch Pikachu, sorry, catch Sheik when she's re reappearing in hopes of a stage spike or to just knock Sheik even further away. Now in many cases most Sheiks will automatically bouncing fish as soon as they get off stage so if you predict that you can place a well spaced thundercloud to spike the Sheik or to bring the Sheik down to you to get hit with the rest of the thunder and that could possibly result in an early kill. I didn't perform that in this match but keep that in mind Thundercloud is just as good as Sheik as it is versus other characters and it's something that I'd say people are starting to expect more so they're more wary of it but 
and the chance that you can frame trap or catch your opponent off guard, it's a very, very useful tool to use off stage in hopes of getting an early kill. But guys, that's all I have to say about the Pikachu versus Sheik matchup. I had to keep this video concise because there's a lot of background noise going on where I live. So if you have any other questions, especially since I've been talked about everything I wanted to, be sure to hit me up in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. If you want another character matchup breakdown, please let me know in the comment section below as well. Take it easy.